Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Splinter's an interesting game for me because I really like it. I like the how you, just this economy of scales that you're going through. It's an app that I really like, and probably the app has replaced the game for me in most respects, to be quite honest. But this is a game I turned when it first came out. I turned a lot of people onto, and I turned them onto the app. Also, I was like, hey, if you like Splendor, the app. The app's all about the app. Like, it's a really fun app. I think it works really well in app format. So when Marvel Splendor was released, I was kind of excited about it because my kids really like Marvel. You know, that's their Star Wars of their generation. Marvel, you know, is all about that. Most Marvel games, if not all, I could get them to try out and play. And I knew Marvel Splendor, or I knew Splendor was a game that was simple enough for kids to jump into. But I felt like the theme of Splendor would be kind of a turnoff, didn't really pull them in. So Marvel Splendor has been a hit in that regard. They really like collecting the superheroes and getting it, the Infinity Stones that you're getting to get that Infinity Gauntlet that eventually we put together will trigger the end of the game. It's funny how just, you know, an IP or some paint, uh, some artwork on a game can really change the dynamic of it and it works here. Now this does have some rule changes, you know, getting the Avenger card that can be taken back and forth. I think there's some fewer scoring cards that are the tiles that you have in it because they're double sided, but I think there's only four in this one. Or uh, maybe there's three, and they're double sided. So certain combinations are left off because I can't use both sides of a tile, right? So, but it does add a little bit of the extra rules that are in it, like grabbing for the Infinity Gauntlet, etc. Um, and I think it works. I kind of like this game better than regular Splendor, if you're asking me. Now, your mileage on that's going to be dictated probably by how much you like Marvel. If you don't like Marvel, then I think Vanilla Splendor would be fine. Stick with the app or the actual physical game. I don't think you need to go into this territory very often. Uh, but I do feel like I like the extra changes they made to the game. I do enjoy that. So in my regard, I'm going to keep Marvel Splendor and get rid of regular Splendor and just keep regular Splendor on the app. Uh, version and keep this one for the family and for the kids, but that's because I can get them to play Marvel, let's be honest. Um, so that mileage may vary with you. Everything else I think works fine. I like the extra collection of the Avenger people where you're able to take that tile back and forth. I also like how the Infinity Gauntlet is grabbed and you have to have the greens, so you have to have one of the higher ones, so it, it will dictate your strategy a little bit. I like how that works. As for me, it's an absolute keeper, so when I get my family to play, it's been a winner. I don't have any complaints about it. This is a splinter with a theme on it that I enjoy. Here's Marvel Splendor. As you can see, it's Splendor with a Marvel theme attached to it. You can see Thanos and some of the heroes behind it. You're going to have a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. And you're going to have these chips that you'll have. So you're going to have a new set, which will be the shields, and these are going to be wild cards. You're going to have the Infinity Stones that you'll see through here. These are the same quality that you'll get in the regular Splendor. Very, very nice. The green ones will act a little differently in this one. And then you're going to have a three sets of cards, as you do in all of them. One, twos, and threes. And threes are going to have your big hitters like Ant-Man and Loki, Iron Fist, and Vision. You can see you're going to have some new little things on here to fool around with. We'll go over that in the full play. The card stock is pretty good. I feel like it was a little bit maybe a tad downgrade from regular Splendor, but not enough to get excited. You will have this new uh, token or uh, tile, and you'll have this Avenger token, which will work a little bit differently. We'll show that in the flow of the game. And you only have four of these. They are double-sided, but I did like having more of these in the base game. Otherwise, the components are fairly identical to what you're going to get in regular Splendor. As for the rulebook itself, I felt like it was very clear. You have a picture of the components over here set up with a picture, which is great, and a gameplay overview here. With some, a little bit, a couple of differences. The time stone will be a little bit different, and the location tile, some of those will be a little different. And then winning the game is a little bit different than regular Splendor. If you've played Splendor before, I mean, really, you can probably read this in five minutes, 10 minutes, be up and running. If you've never played Splendor before, I'd give myself probably 10 or 15 minutes to read through this. I found it very easy as a mass market game. This will be a big success. So, this is what the game is gonna look like set up. You're gonna have four cards from each of these decks out. The shield tokens and the green ones are set aside. We'll deal with those later. On your turn, you have a few options. You can pick up any three of tokens that you want as long as they're different colors. And this will be in your supply. Keep in mind, you can never have more than 10 of these in your supply at a time. And if you didn't want to pick up three different colors, you could always pick up two of the same color. Say you really needed red, you could pick these up and now you have these on your turn and your turn would be over. Another thing you could do is you can pick up a card and purchase it. You just have to have the items here. So in this case, if I had two yellow and two blue in my supply, 
let's say I already had this from previous turns, then I could purchase this card, two yellow and two blue. I would discard these back to the supply, and I would take this card, putting a new one out, and now I would always have a purple available. So if I needed a purple, I would have it available and come over in my, on my tableau. So let's say the next turn I wanted to buy this card, and let's say I had an orange, yellow, and a blue in my supply. Oh, I have an orange, yellow, blue in my supply. I don't have enough to buy this because this also requires a purple, but I have a purple icon here. So this can take the um, place of one of my cubes. So now I will be able to purchase this and I pay my yellow, my orange, and my blue, and I've used my purple here. So now I have that card, etc. So a couple things to notice as the cards move up, they will also give you victory points. This big number here is the victory points. Another thing that's going on is you have these A's for Avengers, and you'll be collecting these Avengers as you go. And if you're able to get three of those icons, then you'll grab this, which is worth three additional points, okay? So this, and if somebody gets more, this is the only tile that will move in the game. So if, some, if I have three and somebody gets four, then they would take this from me and they would get the three victory points. In addition, you're going to have these that you can earn during the game. And this just says if you have three yellow cards, three blue cards, and three red cards, I can take this. Nobody can steal it from me, and I would score the three victory points listed on it. Right now, I have two purple, so I don't qualify for that. The game ends when somebody gets 16 points. If they have a green, yellow, orange, one of each color, and a green token, and you have 16 points, you grab this. That would trigger the end of the game. Whoever has the most victory points is your winner. But how do you get these green ones? Okay, so another thing you can do is if you take one of these top ones, these level three ones, it will give you a green token. You can only have one green token. There's enough there for everybody to get one. Once you have one, it can never be taken from you. The additional thing that you can do is if you want to build a card, but you don't have it, what you need to build it, or maybe you just don't have any tiles to build something immediately, you can take this card and take a shield token and set it aside. Now you don't have built, you haven't built it yet, you don't have access to it, but only you can build it in the future and you get this shield token, which is a wild card. So let's say I wanted to build this card. I needed a blue, orange, two red, and a purple, and I'm missing one of these. I can give up the shield token to be a wild card. So that can be very useful later on in the game. And that's how that's gonna work. So whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game will be the winner. Who should buy this game? Gateway Gamers. If this is your first game you're buying, this is something you absolutely can buy and play. If you like Marvel, this is something you'll want to add to your collection. If you've got kids who like Marvel, you can definitely play with them. I mean, don't don't jump in. This thing's going to be the most thematic game in the world. It's not going to be. But the artwork does bring you in. It's got a lot of unique artwork on it. I think the game looks really good. It's a really good production on it. I think the card may be a little thinner here than the regular game, but you see these great chips that you got in the first game. I have very little complaints about it. I think most people who go into this expecting what they're expecting. I think they're going to be very happy with this production. Absolute keeper for me, and I've said it before, but I'm going to keep this over regular Splendor and just keep the Splendor app on my iPad. Winner for me. Keeper.